Hi, welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install screencast keys on Blender version 2.93. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser and we're going to go to this website, which is where we can download the screencast keys. I'll put a link to this in the YouTube description. At the moment, it says it's version Blender 2.92, but I believe this should work perfectly fine on Blender 2.93. So we're going to go ahead and click on this zip file, screencast keys here. Let's go ahead and click that, and that will download the screencast keys. Let's just drag this to the side and open up this folder on my desktop, and we'll drag and drop this zip file into this folder. And now we can close down the web browser, and we want to now load up um, Blender, right? So let's go ahead and load up Blender software. And we just click on general here for now and we'll go to edit and we'll go to preferences. When we click on preferences, we want to click on add on and then we want to click install. So make sure you click this install button here and we'll go to my desktop. Let's go to this uh, tutorial here. Let's find it. Are you hiding from me? Here it is. And we'll click on the zip file and we'll click install add on and then we'll expand this and make sure we tick it right so we can tick it here and there's some various options in here you can go and play around with the options but you can actually access most of this stuff from the side control panel so we're just going to go ahead and close this and we'll experiment to see how well it works okay let's go ahead and press the letter n on the keyboard so the letter n n for november and that will open up this side control panel we can click on screencast keys so you see view tools items and we'll click on screencast keys here and then we can tick this option and you should see the little controller here now right and you can see the left middle mouse click left mouse click and right mouse click you can see them working here down here but we want to actually make this uh, a little bit bigger but really what we want to do is um if for any reason you don't see this right so if you don't see this little mouse icon what you want to do is change the offset here see this offset so just drag it sometimes it's showing off the screen so you want to set it to like probably around 40 i think 40 is like a good position and we want to um, have the text showing as well right so display time max events let's just see so here's the mouse so we can increase the size of the mouse so let's set it to like around 40 and then if we press something like shift and s we can see the text here but the text is really small so we want to increase the text size let's make that a lot bigger let's say shift and s right so i reckon that's pretty good around 36 should be a pretty good size uh let's just press um shift key let's press uh a to select all and shift s let's just see how these fonts are showing so this looks pretty good i think this size is pretty good right for the for the size of the for the key presses i think that shows that pretty well you can change the font color in here so you can set it to something different maybe blue or some sort of light blue color maybe it'll be easier to see i prefer to use a uh, maybe like a green color and then it's nice and easy to read the text try and make it large and try and increase possibly the the mouse icon size as well i think you know having it quite large is pretty good for people to see when you're left clicking so it will show the left click there is also uh the amount of um history right so it's set to five i like to set it to something like 10 so if you're pressing um let's just press um a and d for now it will show up to 10 events and it will hold those events and then they'll start to disappear the disappear time or the display time is set to three so i think that's pretty good and then i like to set it to event history and hold status so um this is probably the best option this one here for the mouse right so you can if you don't have that then it will only show the mass um the mass action on the on the actual device itself so if i click event history it will just show only the mass um text right if i select hold status then it won't show the text but it will show the presses here which i don't think is that useful so i would recommend that you do event history and hold status this is probably the best one because when i left click it says left click but it also shows the left click right middle mass click and it will also show it as well and then when you press your other keys uh, you can see the different key presses here okay so this all seems to work pretty well i'll leave you to go and experiment with it remember to adjust this um this offset the the position in here normally i just leave it on the left align but you can put it on the right line <clears throat> right align if you prefer or centered 
and I think that's pretty good. So let's go ahead and press the letter N. That closes it down. Now one thing to note is if I just um, quit Blender, so I'm just going to quit it and don't save. Let's just close this window and then we'll load up Blender one more time and we'll click General. And when we middle mouse click or press any keys on our keyboard, you'll notice that it just doesn't do anything. You need to press the letter N, you need to go to screencast keys and you need to activate it. You must activate it um, in order to um, have that functioning. So even if you save a file, if you go to file save as and save something, you have to reactivate this particular tool just by pressing the letter N, screencast keys and turn it on. So each time you load up Blender or you save a file, after you save it, you have to reactivate it as well. Or when you reload a file, I believe. Maybe not when you save it, but when you reload the file. Okay. Let's go ahead and close this. That's how you go about installing screencast keys on Blender 2.93. And hopefully you find this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial. Mm -hmm.